And we're back. Roadside History is on another mission as we speak here in St. Paul, Minnesota at once was a train depot, train repair center, now is a Best Western Hotel. And uh, we're gonna be checking some stuff out, see what we can get into and try to stay out of trouble. <laughs> Enjoy. the best western and bandana park area this once was the site of a ginormous compound rail yard had over 11 buildings ginormous ones as a matter of fact you could fit several thousand trains in them more like hundreds i over embellished sorry now we're down to maybe five full buildings left and they've reused them for the motel which was behind me that i stayed in overnight and the other side of it is a urgent care center. Uh, there's a conference room center. Um, I can't get access to the conference room center and that just happens to be the site of the old depot. But from what I've been told by employees here that they've bricked off most of it. So therefore it doesn't resemble it anymore but you can still see where the stairs would have gone up. I wish I can get in there but they have denied me access on several occasions that I've asked. Nice paint scheme on that guy. You know he doesn't go anywhere. Just outside the, the complex here in Bandana Square on Bandana Boulevard. Gotta say it right. 8327 is the engine. She sits here. Kind of lonely okay very lonely all the markings on her are the number 8327 all the other markings her number the company she once owned belong to are gone on the original set of tracks that once ran through here. Let's see if you can get up in there. And... Oh, there's the old firebox. That's all you can see of her in there. How about that direction? these little yeah, windows were doors where the engines would come in and out in and out as they're getting repaired repainted the track still is inside the actual building of the motel not sure about this part because it's now urgent care it's a pretty good sized facility though There's always got to be one of these her people like me and other explorers because somebody has screwed up somewhere making it harder for us to enjoy these things there's the big steamer I'm gonna go check out this little guy right here in the middle oh now I understand what this thing is for for the rail enthusiasts we know but if you don't know you would have someone standing right here cranking this wheel. Oh, look at that, there's a motor on it. That must be the brake. <laughs> Told you what I don't know, apparently. You'd have one on each end and the motor, which would slide this guy back and forth between each door. So as it would come out the door, 
you could put it on this guy, which at that point would have gone whole length. into that building. Unfortunately, these are wood, but it's the proper length. And it lines right up to that door. Whew, it's chilly outside. Found my way into uh, these green tunnels from building to building here on the property. Some good views. Still pretty cold in here. Echo. Echo. Very echoey, apparently. But maybe you can see this view this way. You know what I'm saying? From way up here. Get a whole shot, finally. It's kind of jets over to hospital side. Go walk around. Of the upstairs. Of the original. Brickwork. And support. Like I said, you can still see where the tracks come in the building. And then check out that structure. Beautiful. There's where you come in the front door. The main set of rails. Still run right through the motel. You can see the old structure. I hope they got one of the doors at least open. It's kind of cold outside. Well, it's 27 degrees. I mean, that's not freezing. Well, it is freezing, but it's not freezing to me. Look at the structures. I mean, from what I've read so far, it's from 1800s, late 1800s. This place never really saw, saw diesel, from what I can tell. Still trying to locate where the actual depot was. I mean, they're just telling me there's a depot. This is a depot plus. Uh, there's no actual markings that tells me what a depot would have been. After a little more research, this is about what the depot would have been. Still see that the structure would have come out. God, it's beautiful here. I think that guy likes it here. Um, I'm not trying to gross anybody out, but I'm just saying. I don't think he's a very happy camper.